Damn, a $21 tip. Grub Hub for Jasmine. What's up everybody? Happy Monday and welcome back to my car. I am so excited for today's video because we are finally trying Grubhub. I have my package here with the Grubhub bag. I actually just finished a DoorDash order. It was a $6 payout for like 10 minutes and now I am sitting in a parking lot with DoorDash still on. I'm gonna get my thumbnail done. I'm gonna film this Grubhub intro and then I'm just gonna go back home. Leave on Grubhub, leave on DoorDash, probably leave on Uber Eats too because why not? And I'm just gonna see what pops up. With that, let's just go ahead and see what Grubhub sent. Oh my God, it's so big. Damn. It's like a better DoorDash bag. Yay, this is like crazy. Christmas. This is so huge. <laughs> Let me just, I'm not gonna move it because my DoorDash bag is actually propping up my camera right now. Let me just show you. That's what it looks like, but you guys can see that puny little bag compared to this monster. Oh my gosh. Bunch of pamphlets. Oh, this is a heavy one. Anything else? Oh yeah. Oh, we got the card and it's purple. And then let's see what this is. Hand sanitizing spray. We got two masks. Okay. Taking offers right now. And the only reason why I did that before scheduling a block is because I did look earlier. All of the blocks are taken right now. Oh, new offer accept now before it expires. Okay, well, I'm going to view it. Hopefully it doesn't just accept it. Oh. Oh, okay. So this one is one order, it's $7.37. It does not show you the total mileage, but it shows you the restaurant and then where you're dropping off to. And I do kind of know the location now, so that's like easily like probably four miles. It'll probably take me like 20 minutes and it's Jack in the Box. I'd have to go through the drive-thru. So I'm just not gonna do that one. They always have a really long line or it just takes forever. Not doing it, but hey, I'm glad that it does show like a little bit more than Postmates did at least. So that's good. Is this another new order? Is this the old one? Oh my God, I hit the X because I thought that was rejected. I just, you guys, I'm like all over the place. I just, accept offer is so big and I'm so used to the other apps where if you hit X, it goes away. That's weird, it doesn't expire with Grubhub. All right, well, I'm gonna reject this and it does ask you to say why, so too far away. Oh, this offer is no longer available. Then why is it still here? What? Two very boring minutes later. So it doesn't look like I'm really getting that many orders. I'm just going to head home, wait around. If anything does pop up, I will head out for that and you guys will see me then. We're doing it. Okay, so we just got our first Grubhub delivery. And it's crazy because this is the first delivery that's popped up since you guys saw the very first initial delivery that we got when I was sitting in a parking lot. But we're headed to McDonald's for a little over $7 payout and we're not too sure of the mileage. Hi, 709. Yeah, thank you. I'm sure I'll see you later. This app is so detailed. Wow, a four dollar tip. Oh my God, so quiet. I'm gonna stop here to gather myself and kind of collect my thoughts, see what's going on with this app because it is so different from DoorDash and Uber Eats. So different. It didn't even ask for a picture, but I took one on my own. Man, that's so weird. They don't even make you verify it or anything. They just kind of say, all right, drop it off and go. Let's just go ahead and check stride. I forgot. I never turned it off. All right, you guys, we are headed to our second Grubhub delivery to Tropical Smoothie because it was like $8.50. And you guys know it didn't show the mileage, but I think it's delivering to the hospital around that area. So under three miles should take around 15 minutes unless I get lost in there. So wish me luck. I have um, a Grubhub for Jasmine G. Okay, thank you. Uh, yeah, sure, please. Thank you. Thanks, you too. Order secure. Let's get it. this in the bag. I like this Aldi bag because it's shorter, you know, easier to fit. Whatever, we're just gonna leave all that. I'm just gonna leave this too. I don't wanna carry all that. Unless I can do this. Oh yeah, that's better. Maybe not. Oh my God, this is so bad. Leave order in the lobby, thank God. The GPS is a little fucked up. Oh my God. Oh no, my car. No, that's a lot of damage. What was that? Oh, fuck my life. This is so irritating. It's trying to navigate me to a freaking tropical smoothie again. Make a U-turn, starting route. Hi, I have a grub hub for Jasmine. Yeah, no problem. 
I don't want to accept another triple. I'm in this one. Ah, raising Cane's. Nah, too far for me. I declined that Raising Cane's order because I'm right next to Raising Cane's and I know it's gonna take a while for them to even prepare the order. And then I gotta shoot all the way across town to deliver. <laughs> Not worth it. Oh my God, a $5.65 ticket. That is amazing. Oh my god. That order was a little bit stressful because GPS's are not my thing. I like probably fucked up my car. I didn't even look. I should. I'm not going to look right now because I'm still like sitting in front of the customer's office trying to figure this out. But let's just go into the earnings and see like what the base pay was for that order and everything. I like how it shows you immediately unlike Uber Eats. Okay, so for that order, it was the tropical smoothie one. We got the $5.65 tip and then we got paid around $3 for the base pay like we did with that other order. And I think it's cool how it shows you the breakdown for time and then mileage and then the customer tip. Super transparent. And with that, I'm just gonna go home and see what else pops up. All right guys, we're off to our third Grubhub delivery and it is four o'clock. I have been doing a lot of DoorDash deliveries because Grubhub just hasn't really been popping and every time I did a DoorDash delivery, a Grubhub order would pop up that was good but I couldn't do it because I was right in the middle of delivering food. So in that case, whatever, you know, I had to decline those. But we're off to Sushi Bomb for a $24 order. Obviously it doesn't show the mileage. I'm gonna guess it's around five miles tops and it should only take like 20 minutes. So wish me luck. Hi. Hi. Yep, a Grubhub for Tina E. Thank you. <laughs> Same few moments later thank you thank you thank you too damn a 21 dollars tip what that is so good what the diner placed the order at 334 and i what how could no one pick that up i don't get it yay i can reach it thank you Yay, delivery complete and we made like 25 bucks. I don't know, I'll have to check when I get home and I will put it right here. One thing I wanna mention is that it is so weird right now because I'm so used to knocking and saying thank you. But with Grubhub, I just, I feel like I shouldn't do that because I could just easily hit text and then it sends it for me or it, it already pre-writes it for me. So that's easy enough. Whereas with DoorDash, I don't wanna text because it just takes longer. It's easier just to knock and say thank you. So. I'm feeling a little bit confused right now. And we're off to McDonald's for our fourth Grubhub delivery for a six dollar payout. Six eight five. Thank you. Bag secured. Thank you. I did it. I had to do it. I didn't even think about it honestly. I just. I went to go knock and say thank you, or ring and say thank you, and I did it. And now a new order's popping up. It's going to Capriotis though, and they always take forever, and the lady there's kind of rude. I don't even, oh my God, and the customer's all the way over there. No way, for only $11, reject, too far. We got paid $2.38 for our time, and then 62 cents for the mileage, and then the customer tip was $3, and then let's go ahead and check stride. Don't tell me I didn't turn it on. I thought I did oh my gosh I know that I should just leave it on you guys but I go home and then I might go get food or I might go to a thrift store I might go grocery shopping I don't know but I always forget to either turn it on or shut it off and I don't want to accidentally count my personal mileage so that's why I just find it easier to start and stop it after each trip since I do go home and then it's not even guaranteed that I'm gonna go out and do another delivery order so that's why I like to stop and start it but as you've seen that's not always the best when you're dashing from home and you forget to turn it on I just finished a DoorDash order and I figured why not not just go ahead and film the outro right here right now because I don't think I'm gonna be doing any more deliveries after this it's getting dark and I do not want to dash in the dark or grub hub in the dark just because I don't want to get scammed robbed attacked who knows I just don't want to deal with it with that I do really like grub hub it wasn't as popping as DoorDash so I won't be able to solely use grub hub but that's okay because I like DoorDash anyways uber eats still the side home not too sure about that one yet I just I mean I feel like you don't really get too many good orders whereas grub hub Oh my God, the payouts are great. Obviously, yes, there's some shitty trips too. We had a lot of those today. But for the most part, I didn't get too many orders. It was either a great order or a horrible order. Whereas DoorDash, you get everything in between. Grubhub, you know, I didn't get as many orders as I thought, but that could have been because I wasn't really scheduled all day. Once I was scheduled later in the day, I did notice myself getting more orders. So I'll have to try that out later throughout the week and schedule myself more often just to see if I do get more trips. I hate how as soon as you go into earnings, it tries to send you into the next day. It's like, why? It's not even the next day. If you go to June 15th, which is today, I earned $46.58 and I really wish that it showed you your total like active time, online time, whatever, but it doesn't, that's okay. I'm gonna go to earnings history though and show you guys that. Damn, so here you can see every single order that I got. It took me an hour, hour and a half collectively with Grubhub and then let's just go ahead and check DoorDash. 
Okay, so I just ended my dash and it says that I earned $38.50 in 9.4 hours, but that's not true. I was dashing from home, so I just, I don't count that. I'm never usually sitting in a parking lot unless it's to finish an order, film an intro, or do a thumbnail, or get the outro done. Other than that, I'm sitting at home. With DoorDash, we earned, what was this other? I don't know what that is. I've never even, that's the first time I've seen that. Tuesday, June, that's what I got today. $6.87 and it just says other. I don't know. That's super freaking weird. Okay, well, I'm not really sure what that $6.87 other payout was, but let's just go ahead and see what we made. Um, so we earned $38.50 in an hour and 17 minutes. So hell yeah, that's right around $30 an hour. That's what I like to go for. Obviously, $40, $50, that would be amazing. That would be insane, but that's when you're banging out orders left and right. You got those high tippers, short distance trips, but today was kind of slow, and I did decline a lot of DoorDash orders just because I wanted to just wait around for Grubhub orders. So I could have made more with DoorDash today. I just chose not to for the sake of you guys just so you could see what Grubhub was like. And during that time, I didn't get any Grubhub orders either, so I should have just taken those DoorDash orders in hindsight, but that's okay. Today's been a whole learning process like it usually is when I try out apps for the first day. So in total, today we earned $85.08. An hour and 17 minutes was on DoorDash. I don't know how long I spent delivering for Grubhub, but let's just go ahead and say an hour and a half. $85 for a day just sitting at home, doing whatever I wanted, and then going out and about only when I wanted to. Why not? I'll take it. That's how I like to work. I know a lot of you guys you know, might not agree with it in the comments, but that's why I urge you to find whatever works best for you. If you don't want to dash at home, you just want to work four hours and then be done with it, go out and do that. For me, I can't. If I'm sitting in a parking lot for more than like five minutes and I'm not like actually doing something like filming or delivering an order, you know, I have to be like actually doing something. I can't just be sitting here like deny, deny, deny. Like I, that's just, you guys don't want to see that, you know? And I don't want to be sitting in a parking lot declining orders when I could just decline them from home. So I hope that kind of clears up some of the questions that you guys have why I dash from home, why my dash time is so high, why I don't really consider my dash time, all that good stuff. But with that, I hope that you have a great rest of the week. Go out there and make a ton of money.